Omega-3 fatty acids performing comparable to antidepressants in meta-analysis studies? Well, it's either antidepressants perform that poorly or omega-3s are actually that good. Let's look right into the research. Omega-3 fatty acids may help control major depressive disorder, especially in patients taking antidepressants, meaning the results were most profound in those doing antidepressants in combination with these omega-3s. In the citation title, Meta-Analysis and Meta-Regression of Omega-3 Polyunsaturated Fatty Acid Supplementation for Major Depressive Disorder in the DOI citation down below. This appeared publicly March 18, 2016. Into the research will begin. The meta-analysis included 13 studies with 1,233 participants and according to the authors, showed a benefit for EPA and DHA, their words, not mine, comparable to the effects reported in meta-analysis of antidepressants. But yet, that is not the point. Let us proceed. There was greater, the effect was greater in studies supplementing higher doses of EPA and performed in patients already on antidepressants. Meaning the combination of the two, they got some pretty darn good results. The researchers go, before I begin, look at this chart, which is right here. This is what's called a forest plot. You see the placebo off to the side. You see the effects of the omega-3 above. What the researchers were hoping to do is clear up a lot of the confusion in regard to omega-3 supplementation in regard to meta-analysis and benefits in improving mood. In this case, they were working with what's called major depressive disorder. Let us proceed. That said, there is no universal treatment for depression. There are commonly prescribed methods such as antidepressant drugs and cognitive behavioral therapy, to name a couple, but patient outcomes can vary. The gray areas where omega-3 supplements and food may be most useful, according to prior research. Something as simple, this is their words, Something as simple as a daily supplement could be huge for patients who have not responded to or found relief with traditional treatment. Now keep in mind, this is a common areas of meta-analysis, I should say, study. The PDF I want to keep on our clinicalnews.org site so you can pull up anytime you want to get into the meat of the research. Research has concluded. Additionally, this study underscores the importance of EPA and DHA omega-3s for overall health and well-being and supports an existing, existing body of research on the connection between omega-3s and depression. And I wanted to emphasize that for particular reasons in regard to the mass media. Again, Omega-3s perform just as well in a meta-analysis in regard as meta-analysis in comparable, I should say, as comparable to antidepressants, but that not being the point, the point being working with your medical professional, this may be a powerful tool in helping uplift your mood. Again, this is Ralph Turciano signing off, and thank you very much, as always, for listening. Catch you next week.